We got Ricky Shields here on the left, and we got Rory McIlroy, world number one on the right. Just going to do a quick comparison. This kind of shows you um, what the top golfer in the world does compared to the top teacher possibly in the world, at least the world of YouTube does also. So let's get into it. So we're going to start over here with Rick. And a couple things I want you to notice just right off the bat. he got a great setup. Uh, basically, right off the bat, um, I notice you can see he gets some wrist hinge pretty early on. When he gets to this position, the, the club uh, is about even with his hands. It's a little blurry because it wasn't filmed in slow motion. But if we look over here at Rory, when Rory gets to that same position, let's see. He actually goes above the line. So when he's in that same position about right there... You can see where Rory's head of the driver is and where Ricky's head of the driver is. Um, Rory is getting as much length as possible to get as much distance as possible. Um, so that's one thing that I noticed, just a little bit different from what Rory does. Um, just get some wrist hinge pretty early on in that backswing. So moving on, again, you can see that wrist hinge right away. He comes up pretty steep. Um, right here, you can see his club face actually is a little open at the top. Um, where, again, if we get over here to Rory, when Rory gets to the top, his club face is right where it's supposed to be. So, just one thing again I noticed. Uh, other than that, pretty similar uh, stances here. You can see that Rory's got that left arm completely straight. So does Rick. Um, their elbow on their right arm is almost identical. Um, wrists. I think Rory's got his hands a little higher than Rick, but that's just some flexibility things there. Um, but that front leg of Rory's just slightly bent where same thing here with Rick. So getting into the downswing, you can see Rick's first move is to uh, rotate those hips as he brings that club down and that elbow, that right elbow comes right into his right hip. And if we'll watch Rory, let's see what he does. His first move is just his slight squat. But again, same thing. Rory, that right elbow gets into that right hip. I would say Rory's club here is a little more laid off than Rick's. Rick's is a little higher, but not much. Um, relatively same position. Now as we continue down... We get to about right here. Let's look at what Rory's doing, the same spot. Uh, let's say it's about right there. Um, again, Rory's getting a lot of lag. You can see his club is still back here where Rick's club is about here, I think. So he's not getting as much lag, but he's getting um, some. Now getting into that impact position Right about here. Let's see where Rory is. They're, they're relatively in the same spot, but Rory does seem to be standing up just a little bit higher. But if you take a look at their, their right foot, I mean, it's almost identical as far as pushing off that right foot, same height, everything. You can definitely tell both of them are keeping their head back behind the golf ball. And then into the follow through. Rory nice and balanced. And same thing here with Rick. So let's get this under other angle here. All right, so from this face-on view, you can see a very similar ball position. Uh, Rick's stance seems to be just a little bit wider than Rory's. Both of them have their feet flared pretty good there. Their shoulder angles are pretty identical here. 
Both of them have their shoulder angle pointing up so they can hit up on the golf ball. Rick's head seems to be back just a little bit, uh, almost immediately um, in his setup. You can see his head is already a foot and a half behind the golf ball, where Rory, his head, only about a couple inches behind the golf ball to start at setup. But getting into the back swing, we'll start with Rick. One thing I do want to notice here is, you know, I did notice Rick has no, basically no sway. Um, same as Rory as well. Um, you, you don't sway backwards on your back swing. He rotates right around that back leg. But you can see as we get to this spot here, as we get to Rory in the same spot, you can see the difference in the club angle here. Rory's got his club back here, where Rick, again, has started that wrist hinge, and he's up here. Uh, not a big deal, but, um, you know, if Rick wanted to get some more distance, he this is what Rory's doing. He's trying to get as much length in that backswing as he can to get as much distance as possible. So moving on, you can see, again, Rick has no sway backwards. As he gets to here where his left arm is basically parallel to the ground. Let's look at where Rory's is. We'll say about there. Um, so Rory, again, you can see the club, Rick, with that wrist hinge. As we continue on, Rory gets to the top about right here. You can see Rick gets to the top. Relatively the same spot. Rick's got a significant uh, front leg bend, which is fine. Uh, Jack Nicholas did that. Rory doesn't have much bend of that front leg, um, near as much as, as Rick does there. Now, as we start the downswing here on Rick, you can see his first move is, is starting to turn those hips and put that front foot down as he starts to straighten that front leg. So we'll get to this position, same spot, and we'll get to that same spot with Rory. Rory's first move is kind of a squat as his hip moves for the towards the target. So when Rory's hands are lag is about the same there. Good angles as far as uh, the club and that front arm. Pretty identical there, but you can see Rick's back leg is almost straight where Rory has, has started to bend this back leg because he's shifting towards the target quite a bit. So moving forward, as we start to get to the impact area, you can see Rick's head again behind the golf ball, pretty good amount here, which is good. You want to hit up on that golf ball, and you can see his shoulder angle pretty up. Let's see what Rory's looks like when we get to the same position. Again, Rory's head not quite as far back, about the same. And Rory's shoulder angle pretty similar to Rick's over here. Both wanting to hit up on the golf ball. And then as you see through the impact zone, you can see they are hitting up on that golf ball. Rick is pushing up off that back back leg. Head stays low through impact. You can see him roll those hands over. Going to be very similar to what Rory does here. Head stays back. Hands roll over. Again, very similar positions here. And then as we continue on, you can see Rick very balanced as well as Rory very balanced so there's a reason rick shields is one of the best youtube golf coaches golf teachers on uh, the internet uh, he's a pretty good golfer he's got a pretty good swing compared to the number one player in the world i'd say he uh, held his own